Welcome once again to another leadership team meeting. And I know that generally we, um, you know, we spend an hour in prayer and co silent contemplation and sharing. But today we could just read the mission statement reflectively, prayerfully, and then we'll share on it, particularly sharing how is the mission statement alive today in the congregation of the Sisters of Providence of St. Vincent de Paul. So let us begin. We, the Sisters of Providence of St. Vincent de Paul, are an apostolic congregation of vowed women religious, called to be channels of God's providence in the world through compassionate service in response to the needs of the times. Sharing our individual giftedness, we carry out diverse ministries in a spirit of humility, simplicity, and charity, in collaboration with others to bring about the reign of God. The Sisters of Providence came here to Kingston, started up this ministry over 150 years ago to look after, to minister to, to poor people, of which Kingston had an overabundance than as now. And worked a lot in the fields of education and healthcare, schools and hospitals. The sisters were teachers, the sisters were nurses. And those ministries continued, and the sense of dealing with poverty and issues of poverty. It is about the mission, it's about service, but the contemplation sets the stage and gives us our base underneath that can carry us forward. And by trusting in Providence, we move forward in hope. They're out there, they're visible, um, they have the courage to question, they have the courage to be standing out there with signs and to join other causes. Um, when they feel that a cause needs to be supported, that they're always there. And if we are going to live in a compassionate society, then we have to deal with some of the issues that they have raised, whether it deals with the issue of poverty, with, with the issue of sustainability, the issue of environmental uh, compatibility, beginning. Uh, care of the poor was hands-on. We visited the sick poor in their homes. We cared for the elderly and the orphans in the House of Providence. We brought them to live with us and we visited the prisons. Those were our foundational ministries. And then I see a hundred year span of what I call institutional ministries. When we were called upon to work in schools, to work in hospitals, to open hospitals, and so many sisters were teachers or nurses when they entered or were trained to be teachers or nurses or to work in those institutions. So that lasted approximately to Vatican II. One of the things that became more clear to us after Vatican II was, first of all, that we were an apostolic congregation. An apostolic congregation is one founded to do the works of the church, the works of charity, the works of advocacy, in contrast to a contemplative congregation whose main focus is prayer and contemplation. After Vatican II, we were encouraged to go back to our roots 
and our roots, of course, were with Vincent de Paul and his care for the poor. And then we kind of went out of institutional service, which was part of our charism, into individual ministries. You might say the charism deepened. It's just a different way of service. Instead of doing hands-on ministries, living out the charism in that way, we are now more being advocates behind the scenes. Serving, Serving with, with compassion, compassion trusting, trusting in providence, we walk in hope. Well, this mission statement was written in 1989 and yet it's what we're still living today, what we're trying to bring about today. In doing all of that, we're sharing our spirituality because of the focus on our provident God, because that's our charism. And we hear people who spend time here with us talking about trusting in providence and serving with compassion. And they talk about why they come here because it's so spiritually nourishing. Through our Justice and Peace and Integrity of Creation office, we are trying to also be prophetic leaders in society, not only for justice for people, we also are including the better care of the earth in the last part of JPEG, the integrity of creation. You know, we do meet the needs of the time still today, even with our diminished numbers. It's that sense of influence. That's maybe our mission too, is to be women of influence. <laughs>